I have had enough of your antics, Paulo. Not today. Not today. Here, hold this. Oh, okay. I'll see where I can go. What the hell? Those bitches tried to cheat me. Look, a deserted space station. Why? What does one have to do with the other? I, I don't know. I don't know. Change the channel! Perhaps you should get out of the house a little. Tips and tricks from Paul. Video game pal. Pow, Woo woo. Yeah, yeah. Today's tricky game is Super Mario 2 for the NES. I can't beat that game. I just can't beat it because I refuse to play it. Well, you'll never have to play again once you hear these amazing tips. What? This first tip I would like to call sudden death. Watch what happens. Woo. How does this help me? Perhaps you'd like to shove a mushroom into a ladder. Boom. This really just kind of makes the game harder to play. Did you know that you can ride a cactus through the sky? Apollo. Okay, okay. This trick is kind of useful. Down here, you can get an extra one-up by carefully jamming the one-up into the sand. Two one-ups for the price of one. Uh, up. I don't think one-ups are in short supply in Mario games, Paulo. Here's a trick for avoiding Phanto. Who is Fanto? Ow! What? Check this out. You can actually kill Fanto by hitting his key. Boop. 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 I think I fell on my keys. Does that count? I know every trick in Super Mario 2. This is called Super Mario 2, but you seem to be playing as Luigi a lot. This is the year of Luigi, fucker! <gasps> oh. oh, it was all a dream. Once in a while, you see a part of your friends that really shocks you, huh? Yes, it happens. Humans have a lot of facets to their personalities. I think most human relationships are based on seeing just a few of those facets. So when you see a part of a person you never knew was there, it can be really shocking. That's just the way it is, I think. Uh 